Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Andrea and you are joining me in the babe cave table. <laughs> and today I'm going to do a tag video of my favorite pre-loved handbags. And this tag was from This Is Danny O and I'll link her video down below and thank you Danny for tagging me in this video. So I picked out, cause a lot of my stuff's pre-loved, but then I have about half and half pre-loved and half that are new handbags. So these are my top favorite pre-loved handbags. And I have Coach, Dooney, and LV. So if you're interested, stay tuned. This first bag I got off of the one of the coach Facebook groups and it is a I believe a boutique bag but in the in the denim this is my only denim coach bag yeah it looks like little knobbies here turn locks are my favorite of coach for sure but it has you know this vachetta leather got the nice pull tab it's a shoulder carry with all the c's on it and I, i'm not for sure that it's boutique um it's probably four or five years old i'm not sure the style or anything but i got a good deal on it it's it's easy to carry and here is the actual tag and I don't know, signature cargo uh, charm. And then has this cool charm right here with this hang tag. But yeah, the <laughs> unfortunate part is this button broke when I used it a couple of times. But really, is that a big deal? No, it's not a big deal to me. But <clears throat> really nice you know, clean interior, got a good deal on it. Um, yeah, an excellent pre-loved purchase for sure. This is my ultimate, ultimate greatest deal vintage coach Willis top handle in a gorgeous brown. I believe it's British tan, but I mean, the the bag is basically in like new condition and all i got this off of mercari for the best deal i believe it was around 40 dollars. i mean the brass hardware is is nice like there is just got it still has the hang tag on it right here but yeah the turn lock which i love and look how beautiful the inside of this bag is I'm not sure they used it or maybe they were a purse collector like I am and switch out their bags all the time. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, there's the interior of the front pocket. And it has a nice soft. If you get a chance, get a vintage coach bag. Their leather is strong. It's soft. It's it's beautiful, <laughs> but it has these unique little lobster claw strap right there, hardware. The code number is uh, 9927 if you're interested. I love the little zipper pull, and the coolest thing with this, <laughs> and I've showed this on my channel before, but if you haven't seen it and you're new here, it actually came with this booklet, American Classics in Leather, and that looks like the bag, I believe. Maybe it's not, but yeah, just a little pamphlet came with it. it, it their leather, it all started with a baseball glove. So glove tan leather, you know, it started with an actual baseball glove. So that's how durable this leather is. But just a neat little 
little book came in there. And then also, this was in the bag. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's an actual coach receipt. And they paid... This says 12 27 1994 They paid $218 with tax, it looks like. But yeah, they kept the receipt. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, again, I paid like 40 maybe for it. I don't know, but it I wear it occasionally, but I want to keep it in this pristine of condition as well. But yeah, such a pretty bag. And I do have a the little hooks that you can hang pictures or bag charms. I put a hook in my cabinet. And I'll pop a picture up here to show you what I'm talking about to keep the handle upright like this. I just, I don't know, I just want to take really good care of this bag. So even the bottom is beautiful. It's so pretty. So, yep, this is uh, definitely one of my all-time favorite pre-loved coach handbags. The next ones I'm going to show you is Dooney and Burke. And look how beautiful this bag is. This is like a, a darker burnt cedar leather and like a taupe color. I wear this bag a lot in the fall time. Really na nice brass hardware. This one is basically just about in the same condition as that last bag, and I paid probably 40, 50 bucks for it. I believe it's called the Messenger Bag. You know, it has the top handle. Just really, really great shape, and I wish I had the receipt for this one. <laughs> has a back pocket, which we all love. No feet on the bottom. Yeah, this one is a definite top favorite. Still has the hang tag. You know, there's a little wear right here on the near the turn lock, but the leather on this is just beautiful. So inside, the inside's not as clean as the last one, but it's the inside. It's fine. <laughs> Here's the tag for Dooney. A nice big zipper. Yeah, see, I keep some silica packets in there just to keep it fresh. And then there is the patch. Or no, that's the turn lock right there. Yeah. And so, yep. Has a lot of card slots. Yeah, this is a definite favorite for fall. And I believe it's called the messenger bag. And I these are kind of rare and hard to find with this darker brown leather here with this color but again I got a great deal it's one of my favorites for sure next is another vintage Dooney and Burke and it has the maroon the navy blue and the taupe color and then the duck here is brown leather and this is the Teton and it's in pretty good shape. I mean, there's some wear on the corners, but I wear this a lot in the fall as well. You know, it's a beautiful, with the multi-tones here, nice leather strap. I love this little detailing right here, the little triangle detail. But I probably paid under $50 for this one, and you really can't find... If you find one of these, typically they're not in great shape um, or they're astronomical in price. So this is a definite favorite of my pre-loved. Let me look inside. Here's the interior. It's like that blue suede. And here's what that looks like. Brown pocket. Again, that's where the, the hardware is, that patch right there. It's pretty clean inside. There's the Dooney and Burke with the serial number. Yep, so this is the Teton bag and a definite favorite also. And it's crossbody and has the, you know, brass colored hardware again. The Teton bag, another favorite pre-loved bag.
Next up is the beautiful unicorn in my collection. Um, the black with the multicolored LVs with the with that screen printing and the heart the gold hardware. I've showed this on my channel a lot too. Um, it's not in like new condition, but the screen printing is just about perfect on it. And I rarely take this out. <laughs> Even though it is my unicorn bag, it's gorgeous with all those colors. I mean, it really is a beautiful bag if you like this style. And then there's the hardware has some, you know, scratches on it. But it is a hefty bag. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the top handle. And then it has this lock right here. And it just has the the cream beige colored interior. I got this off Fashion File. I have wanted a black multicolor for the longest time. I used to have a white multicolored when they first came out, basically, and had to sell it. So, But I really like the black multicolor Speedy 30, which this is, with, yeah, that gorgeous printing. It is amazing. So to go along with that, since I have the unicorn bag of my dreams, <laughs> I had to get the uh, Louis Vuitton, I believe this is a Sarah wallet. And I got this off of a Louis Vuitton Facebook group, had it authenticated as well. Again, the screen printing is immaculate, super pretty. The button has a few scratches, hardly anything. And the interior is my favorite because it's fuchsia. Yes, there are initials, but I tried to get it off. And you can see it a little bit. It's Y-O. <laughs> it's made in Spain. I love these little zipper pulls right here. It's a really nice wallet. But yeah, it has the card slots here. Really nice full size, and it goes beautifully with my unicorn bag. <clears throat> but that is my favorite pre-loved handbags that I've bought. So tell me which one's your favorite. Have you gotten great deals on some pre-loved? Let me know what you've got. If you've got some unicorns out there, let me know. <laughs> I want to know. Um, this was a tag video. I'm not sure you know, who's been tagged or not been tagged. So just consider yourself tagged if you're a content creator. I tag you. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment down below uh, what you think of my... my. Usually I love to get vintage bags pre-loved and under $100 and in very good to excellent condition. <laughs> And it can happen. I shop pre-loved a lot. And I have come across some great bargains because people want to get rid of that item quickly. So it it, it pays to look sometimes on, on the pre-love markets, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, because you never know what kind of deal you're going to get out of those sites for sure. But this right here came from Fashion File. Um, so I, I've never bought luxury on Mercari, Poshmark, or eBay. <laughs> so that's a little scary to me. I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely do buy Doonies and Coaches and other contemporary brands off those sites and have had really good success. So anyway... I appreciate you all watching and I thank you again for all your support and all your comments and let's keep this channel growing. Subscribe to it. It's free. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Again, thank you, Danny, for the tag and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.